Do 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 do. <laughs> so we're gonna do something a little different today. Uh, rather than watching me write code to do stuff, we're going to show you how to do it and write your own program on your Nabu. So we set up a, a new section of the website for Homebrew and you can download some Homebrew software and if anybody writes anything, please definitely send it my way. We're gonna make it so you can upload stuff eventually. Um, so we're gonna do the C tutorial today because this is probably the easiest one for, uh, for people to be able to program with. And when you click on to go into here, you have your quiver, which has um, suggestions that you're gonna need. So for example, you'll need the Z88DK library. Now this is um, a compiler, a C compiler for Z80 processors. So it's got lots of targets for different consoles and games and everything. We're gonna integrate the NABU into there more closely, but for the way it is right now, we have some libraries that are included in the, in the uh, example file. So download your version, whether you're running OS X or Windows or Linux. And when you download it, uncompress the folder into, I guess you could just do it inside your downloads folder first. And then once it's done, go into the folder and take the Z88DK folder, and we're gonna put that right onto our C drive. So go in your C drive, right click, and paste it in there. So you'll end up with the folder in your C drive. Now, back at our nabu.ca, we're also gonna need our Hello World program. So let's go ahead and click on that to download it. And We'll uncompress it in a folder here. And we'll just clean up this, this folder and get rid of stuff we don't need. There we go. Inside of our Hello World folder we just downloaded, there is a already compiled NABU file, and we also have the source. So the source code, if we double click on it, you can open it in Notepad or Visual Studio Code, which is obviously quite popular. It'll run in Linux and Mac OS, etc. So we'll see through here um, that there is a nabu.h file, which is including a, a, a library specifically to the nabu. We're going to grow that over time and eventually integrate it with Z88DK. But it's giving you the ability to do different graphic modes, um, write to the sound card, and also interact with um, with the keyboard and the HCCA device as well. So you can view this and, and what the code looks like and what it does, but we don't need to specifically do that for this demo. Now to build the project, um, you have build.bat, but if you double click on it, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna do anything because you don't have uh, the environment variable set up for ZDK. So if we go back into our Z88DK folder, there's a Z88DK prompt.bat. And if we launch that, that's gonna bring us into a window, a command shell, which allows us to be able to navigate through our programs and our hard drive. So I've already extracted the folder into a, into a hello world here, and I'll just type in build. And now we're running that same build batch file that you can see we're in that folder here same build batch file that was downloaded. It's just that I'm running it from the command shell of Z88DK, so it has all the environment variables set up to compile it. Now I've added my batch file to take the binary that is compiled and put it into a folder called um, C drive NABU segments, and there it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up our NABU internet adapter and go into settings and go to source and ensure that this is checked, use a local folder. And then also check this pack uh, ca cache clear because we want to clear the uh, cache every time we run it. That way, whenever you, um, you launch the program and recompile it, it's going to load the new one. So we're going to click select folder and we're going to navigate to our folder that has our compiled file on it. In my case, it's NABU segments. Yours could be wherever you put it. 
and save it. Start the NABU emulator. And now on our NABU, we'll power it up. And if everything goes as planned, we should have some annoying 8-bit music with uh, Hello World bouncing around on the screen. Got the beeps. There we go. So you can modify that little program and play with it and uh, do different things, but you have just wrote your first program to be on a NABU. So you think about that. When you do this too, you're gonna to be like the first handful of people in the world in 40 years to have written software that runs on this computer. That's pretty wild. And don't forget to share anything you've done, even if it's just modifying Hello World to say your name, or if you change the colors on the screen, or if you actually make the music sound better, but share and, well, like Douglas Adams says, share and enjoy.